graphing polynomial functions today. All right, graphing polynomial functions, here we go. Uh, let's review just a second. Um, when you see a polynomial like this one, two things you have to know today. Number one is what is the degree and what's the leading coefficient, because pretty much everything we do today is gonna be determined by those two things. Remember, degree is the biggest exponent, so degree is four on that polynomial. The leading coefficient doesn't necessarily mean it's the first one, it's the coefficient where the degree term is. So the degree term is first this time, so the leading coefficient didn't mean to do that. It's also four, they're both four. Leading coefficient, where, they, where the degree is, the degree is the largest exponent. All right, so we're gonna use those the rest of the day. Make sure you got that stuff. All right, end behavior. End behavior means what happens at the ends of the graph. Okay, now, a couple of things in the slide that are really good. First of all, anytime the degree is odd, I'm kind of highlighting the odd there. Anytime the degree is odd, the ends of the graph go opposite directions. Like if you look at this first graph, the left end's going down, the right end's going up. If you look at this one, the left end's going up, the right end's going down. So anytime the degree is odd, the ends go opposite directions. Okay, look at the two bottom graphs. The two bottom graphs are both even. Okay, if the degree is even, what happens is the um, ends go the same direction. Like at this one, they're both going up. On the second one, they're both going down. So again, to recap, if the degree is odd, the biggest exponent's odd, the ends go opposite directions. Okay, if the degrees are the same, the ends of the graph go the same direction. Now let's extend it one more, just a little bit further. If it's odd and the leading coefficient's positive, it goes down left, up right. We will do gestures tomorrow. You know that's coming already. And if it's negative, if it's odd and negative, it's gonna go up left, down right. And that's just something you have to remember, but I think after you do a few of these, you don't even think a thing about it. That's just how they go, especially after you do a gesture. Um, the even ones, if it's even and positive, they, this is easier. They both go up. Even's easier because they both do the same thing. That's what you think. If even is negative, they both go down, which is what you would think. So the only one you got to really think about a little bit is the odd. Odd positive, down left, up right. Odd negative, up left, down right. All right, so let's look at a couple. Okay, what they're gonna ask you here is, um, what, what would the um, leading coefficient be? Like would it be even or odd, and would it be positive or negative? Because both ends are going up, I know for a fact that the degree is even, it's an even degree, and because they're both going up, I'm, I'm, that tells me that the leading coefficient, I probably shouldn't have written all that out, the leading coefficient would be positive because they're both going up. If they're both going down, the leading coefficient would be negative. So they're gonna ask you for two things. They're gonna ask you, is it even or odd, and is it positive or negative? Okay, those two things. And it's even because they're both going up, it's positive because they're both going up. Okay, describe the end behavior. Okay, now they're gonna have you do just the opposite. Without looking at the graph, they're gonna have you look at the function and ask you to describe what's going on. So this one right here is odd degree, which means they're going opposite directions, and the eight is positive. Odd positive does this right here, it goes down left, up right. And that's what you're gonna write. You can write it a couple ways. You can, if you want to, I'll let you do this. You can put down, left, up, right, and I'm fine with that. Okay, just as long as you know what the ends are doing. The second one, uh, there's our leading term right there, negative 10x to the fourth. It's even, which means both ends are doing the same thing. Because it's negative, that means both ends are going down. So that's what you need to write. We're gonna say it's going down left, and it's going down right. Because, and remember, this is the ends of the graph, only the ends of the graph. We'll talk about the rest of it here in a second, but the ends of the graph are affected by what the degree is and what the sign is on your leading coefficient. All right, the last thing I'm gonna have you do is graph some of these. I'm gonna say graph x to the fourth, okay? And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, use our calculators to be honest with you, but without graphing on the calculator. What we're gonna do is we're gonna punch this and we're gonna go to y equals and punch the x to the fourth in. And then we're gonna go to table set. The table, if you look at your calculator, it's on the very, very top. It's above where it says window in your calculator and it says table set. So if you have a second table set, we're gonna set our table to do this right here. We're gonna set it up to where table start is at negative five. And this means change in table. The change in table is by one. So that's how we're gonna set it up. All right, then we're gonna hit table, which is right above your graph button on your calculator. And it's gonna pop up like this. 
And what this is, this gives us all these X and Y points for our graph. We're not going to go huge because our graph isn't huge. What it tells me is it goes through 0, 0. So I'm going to put a point at 0, 0. It goes through negative 1, 1, positive 1, 1, 2, 16, which is way up there. I can't remember that far. And negative 2, 16. So what's happening? It's a parabola. It's doing like really, really steep. And the reason it's so steep is because it's X to the fourth power. So the graph does that now. Make sure that makes sense. Look at our degree. Degree was even, so the ends should go up. It's positive x, which means they should go up. Okay, so I shouldn't have said that. Degree is even, so the ends do the same. Since x is positive, they're both going up. All right, let's look at one more. All right, x cubed minus 2. Now, before I start anything, I should have done this last time. It's odd, and it's a positive, which means... The left side's going down, the right side's going up. That's what I should be looking for in my graph. So I did the same steps. I went to my table. After you set your table, you don't have to do that step again. So I just went ahead and went to y equals and punched the equation in. Went to second table, and I got this these numbers right here. Okay, so I'm going to graph those. I see 0, negative 2, which is down here. Oh, sorry about that. 0 is down here. Um, let's see here. Negative 1, negative 3, also down here. 1, negative 1, here, 2, 6, there, um, negative 2, negative 10, which is way down at the bottom. So the graph basically, this is a cubic graph, and this is what they all pretty much look like. Oops, sorry about that. Couldn't go, it's not letting me, so there we go. It's doing this kind of thing right here. And if you look at it, the ends, the right end's going up, the left end's going down, exactly what it was supposed to do. We will work quite a bit on this in class. Well, that's all we're going to do in class tomorrow is work on this. So you need to feel great about it when you leave. It's not that difficult. Uh, the pattern, and I'll give you some gestures. If it's even positive, they both go up. Even negative, they both go down. Odd positive, down left, up right. Odd negative, up left, down right. Okay, so I hope I said that right. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll work on it. Don't worry about it. We will get this down pat. See you then.